Hi, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, I'm doing Aries. Hi, Aries. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Let's make this a great reading for you guys. I'm pressed for time right now because I have to go pick my son up from school. I've been doing readings like all day, but I had to charge my phone and just things like all over the place. All right, I'm all over the place. Anger. Feel the heat, then turn it down. Okay, some of you are angry. Okay, wow. Okay, I don't like that. Not on Valentine's Day. Shit. The fuck, Aries? Let's let's get rid of that. Purpose. Follow your path. Okay, yes. All right. And self-worth. Love what you see. Okay, so you guys uh, have to focus on yourself. Love yourself first. Okay, angry. Feel the heat, then turn it down. Purpose, follow your path. So this is like walking alone. You see, the dog is walking alone, but you're angry about a situation, possibly a job, possibly you guys are not getting along at work. So you got to do your own thing, follow your path, self-worth, love what you see. So possibly you're not getting along in a relationship or not getting along with somebody else, but it's love what you see. So look in the mirror and love what you see because you're beautiful, you know, and um, know your self-worth, okay? Know your self-worth, all right? Yeah. But follow your path. Walk you. You gotta walk alone. You know. Yes. Some of y'all may be angry at family members. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. I don't like to see this. Five of cups and nine of wands. Okay. So some of y'all may be depressed right now, going through it, drinking, smoking, um, just not uh, in the right state of mind. Um, just up in your head, okay, about a situation, but spirit is saying there's two cuts behind you. It's probably possibly dealing with somebody toxic, a Capricorn, okay, but you're going to build your strength to move past this, possibly a uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well, okay? Um, but you're going to build your strength to move past this with the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you guys are into introspect with the Tower Moment, a Scorpio, possibly a family dynamic going on here in this situation where things are not, you guys are not getting along, possibly with family members, possibly with, um, you know, in your relationship, taking how it resonates. But look, both of you are falling out the window. Possibly you guys are leaving a job as well. You guys are following your path, not getting along. Possibly you guys got fired from a job. I don't like to say that, but, you know, take it how it resonates, okay? And with the Hermit, sign of Virgo, uh, you guys are in introspect in the dark night of the soul, um, trying to find one way, okay? Trying to find your path, trying to find your path, okay? But um, value yourself first, you know? Your self-worth, know your self-worth, okay? Um, with the nine of wands, okay, it's like uh, you defeated, you feel defeated, but you're still standing, okay. But you're gonna get ready to release those wands, you're getting ready to release those wands, all right. You're gonna put them together and release them. All right, Spirit, give me two cards to start off Aries energy, please. Wow, okay. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, with the Empress in judgment. Okay, Empress speaks of a mother, so probably um, uh, some of y'all may not be getting along, but this is sitting on your throne, so some of y'all may not be um, getting along with your mom or a woman figure in your life that's a mom figure, but um, this speaks of sitting on your throne. Some of y'all may be married already, um, have children, a wife, but this also speaks of creativity, follow your path, your purpose, okay? Uh, birthing new ideas, okay? With the judgment card, a decision has to be made. You, you guys didn't make the decision yet. Spirit is saying if if you don't make the decision, a decision is going to be made for you because they give you the time to make the decision. The Empress is a sign of Taurus Libra. The Judgment card is a sign of Scorpio. Okay? I feel that this is very a toxic, a toxic environment, whether it's a home, a home situation with your parents or uh, a mother or in a relationship. It's just a toxic environment that you're in. And you gotta you gotta walk your own path. You gotta go on your own journey now. Yeah. Okay. But with the eight of swords, anger, you're gonna cut yourself free. Okay? The blindfolds are off. You're gonna cut yourself free, but you're still angry about the situation. You're breaking ties, okay? Uh this may be somebody locked up too that's coming out of jail. All right. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, see? With the two of cups, follow your, follow your path. The two of cups, this is a soulmate type of energy. A soulmate is coming in as well because I see a, uh, a, the dog heading towards somebody. So somebody's heading towards you. Okay, this is going to be your true soulmate. Okay, two of cups, somebody that really uh, is a divine um, connection from the divine. That's going to really love you for who you are. Love what they see. They're going to love what they see. Okay, yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles, this may have been a family dynamic that you guys are in and that you guys are not getting along. It's just toxic. But whoever is coming in um, is going to stabilize you. They're going to love what they see. And I see you guys ending up in a long-term kind of uh, committed relationship with this person where it's going to be abundance, you know, a happy family, the two the two dogs, you know, um, children. Okay, yes, yes. You guys are going to be like a, a power couple. If you allow it in. Because you guys haven't made the decision yet. Okay. Yeah. With the emperor. Uh, emperor is coming in. Wow. Wow. The emperor. The empress. Perfect match. Yes. This is a definitely a divine connection. Twin flame. If you believe in that. But a divine connection. Soulmate. Okay. With the emperor. This is Aries Taurus. All right. This person uh, may be older than you. Um, but this person is a provider. Uh, this person doesn't express feelings easily. This person is set in their ways. Uh, this may be a boss that you may meet, meet at work because I see pentacles. All right. Somebody in a higher level position. Um, yeah. Mm hmm Yep. That's heading towards you. Yeah. See? With the Six of Pentacles, they're coming to balance out the scales, to even things out with you. So some of you all may have been investing, investing, investing in this relationship. And, you know, you woke up to the reality, the blindfold is off, and you you said to yourself, wow, I'm the only one investing in this relationship. But now this person is coming, out, coming in to even out the scales, to balance things out with you. Like, here, you don't have to do everything on your own. I'm here to balance out the scales. Okay? Okay. Yeah, with the chariot, uh, Cancer, somebody is definitely moving into you. All right. Uh, this may be a black and white couple. Uh, different. You guys may be different cultures or whatever the case may be, but somebody is definitely coming in towards you. Okay, definitely. And you are going to be moving forward. You're going to be moving forward past this, past this negative energy because you guys are in a neg negative energy, but you're going to get out of this. You're going to you're gonna put yourself first. Yeah, you see? Four wands, okay? Um, came upside down. So this is a broken marriage. This is a broken relationship. This relationship is not going to last. Okay, this is over. Um, this is not something, um, but you haven't decided to leave. It's like you stay, you stay in, um, put, yeah, with the moon card, a lot of secrets, a lot of lies, cheating. Okay, sign of Pisces, Cancer. Um, in this connection, okay, um, yeah, very, very dark energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with the four swords, you're taking a break from the world, you're meditating, um, you're really trying to figure out what you want right now, what you want to do. Um, but Spirit is saying if you don't make the decision, one is going to be made for you. Okay, you guys probably possibly is worried about finances as well. You know, if you leave this connection, you know, what are you going to do and stuff like that. Yeah, with the hermit mode coming out on top of um, this. This is uh, clearly um, introspection, taking a break from the world. Okay, dark, dark headspace. With the Empress, again, you are the mother figure. You make things grow. Creativity, follow your path. Okay? Sit, love yourself first. And the Empress is, a, come on, she's an Empress. Like, she's beautiful. She she takes care of oneself, you know? Yeah, see? Okay? So with anger, look what happened. Look what anger. Eight of, eight of swords upside down, right? Too much fighting and arguing. This, this is having to do with people, numerous of people. Family, friends, relationship, just not getting along, okay? Just not getting along um, with people, okay? Just not getting along. Constantly fighting, constantly battling. So it came out on top of anger, okay? So with the hermit mode, you took a break. You're taking a break. You're in like a dark headspace. Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? But the decision, is, judgment, a decision is going to be made, okay? Sign of Virgo. But you got, you're trying to find your way out of this dark energy. You're trying to find your way out. So you're taking a break from the world. With the Empress, you are the mother. You are the mother figure. You probably are, are arguing with your mom, somebody you're not getting along with, uh, possibly a female figure in your life that's older than you. But this speaks of the Empress. And I also see a baby. So you guys may be pregnant, might, may be becoming pregnant. But, yeah, with the two... Ten of Pentacles, children, yes, I see uh, you guys getting married, long-term relationship because your emperor is coming in. It's coming in. Okay, you guys possibly, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
This is this is a reading. This is a reading. Wow. I told you. And this may be somebody younger than you also. Okay. Uh fire energy like yourself, two of cups. Follow your path. Okay. Uh shit. Uh, somebody may be locked up as well. But uh, okay. Page of Wands. So this person may be younger than you, a fire sign, Aries, a Sagittarius, but they still have their eye on you. They can't keep this is your soulmate. This is a true soulmate coming in. Okay. Uh However, with the Palace of Swords, somebody may be locked up. Um, with the Palace of Swords, this speaks of building a barrier around yourself. Like you're cold, you're angry right now. You're cold. You just don't. You blocking. You blocking people out. Energies out. You don't want to fight. You don't want to. You don't want to argue anymore. Okay. With the Ten of Coins, though, this is going to lead to um, happiness. This person is going to come and stabilize you, balance things out. Ten of Coins. Ten of Coins. I see a lot of abundance on the uh, horizon for you too, Aries. A lot of money heading your way. This is going to be a power couple. Okay, with the emperor, right? The moon card, deceit. Somebody deceived you in this situation. Was it to a coin, struggling with more than one person? But with the page of cups, um, somebody wants to come and apologize to you. Okay, somebody wants to come and apologize to you with the page of cups and the emperor. Okay. But I see that this is the emperor and the empress. Possibly you guys were married to this person already. It's a broken marriage. But I see somebody coming in new. New. Maybe younger than you as well. Okay. And maybe younger but been through their shit, shit, shit in life that there's, they're the emperor now. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So with the chariot, moving forward, you move it forward. With the ace of swords, you gain some type of truth and clarity out of the situation. You've seen you've, you've seen it for what it is. Okay, too many people involved with the three of cups, false masks, people not showing their true self to each other. Okay. Um, so uh yeah, okay. Um, and with the ten of cups, this is concerning a family dynamic. Wow. Somebody secretly wants to come into you, though. Somebody secretly wants to come into you. This person that's watching you wants to... Yeah, they're building their strength, okay? And some of you all may be getting pregnant or pregnant already, but with the moon card, right? The watching. Somebody secret is watching you, right? Somebody, somebody, somebody... Okay. With, this, with the seven of coins, somebody is sitting there watching and waiting, secretly waiting to come into you. They want, they're watching secretly and waiting to come into you. They want to invest in you, invest in this situation. Okay? So they're waiting patiently um, for opening. They're trying to find an opening. Okay? Yes. And with the chariot, uh, cancer, um, this is going to pick up pace. This is going to pick up. You guys um, probably know each other online, uh, talk online and stuff like that, but they uh, they waiting. they waiting. This is secret. Okay? And with the sun card, uh, you are this person. They see you as their happiness. Okay? This person may work out as well, but this person is, is, is fiery too about you. Okay? And they build in their strength to come into you. They want to. They, they're, they're very passionate about you. <laughs> okay? They build in their strength to come in towards you. Possibly a water sign coming towards you as well, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh, shit. Okay, with the Empress and the Judgment card.
Yeah, you're defending yourself, but spirit is protecting you as well. But you're defending yourself from people. Okay, you're you're not letting anybody in right now. You're in the dark night of the soul. You're taking a break from the world. Okay. With the five of coins, uh, some of you may be concerned if you leave the situation. Um, what are you gonna do with the housing situation and your money? You know, stuff like that. Um, but you know, um, this is a cold relationship environment it's not it's not it's toxic okay yep with the five of swords uh you're very defensive right now but spirit is saying that when this person comes in um don't be too defensive let your guards down a little bit all right <laughs> okay because with the four coins, it's like this speaks about saving money, but somebody is holding on to you. They're not they're not letting you go. Okay, they they just waiting for their opportunity. It's a secret though. They're waiting for their opportunity to come in. They're watching you and they're waiting for an opportunity to come in. They're seeing what's happening with this family dynamic or what you're gonna do or what decision you're gonna make. They monitoring your life, they keep it there. <laughs> they keep their eye on you. Okay. Yes. This may be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. But this person never re revealed to you how they feel about you. But this person has deep feelings for you. They love you. Okay. They're very fiery knight of wands. They're very fiery and passionate about you. This may be a younger energy, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But they're very passionate about you. Very passionate about you. Um, There's going to be a highly sexual um, type of dynamic here. Okay. Um, yeah. And with the Seven of Cups. Uh, constantly thinking about you, you thinking, you know, constantly up in their head about this, okay? Uh, up in their head about you, okay? Yes, but you're up in your head about other reasons whether you should decide to leave because you thought those thoughts. But this person uh, sees future with you, sees the Ten of Pentacles with you, came out twice, okay? Yes. Okay, so yeah. Um, getting signs about you and they're following their intuitions with the High Priestess. Pisces, they're following their intuitions now, okay? Yes, to move towards, they, they're just taking their time, but it's a secret, okay? This is a secret, all right? And then they may be getting tower readings as well with the moon card and the high priestess, okay? Uh, trying to get spiritual enlightenment, all right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. But they're following their intuitions towards you. They're following the signs, okay? And Spirit is saying you have, you need to follow your intuitions as well because the signs are there as well, cautioning you that this is not good. You got to get out this toxic environment, this angry state, okay? Follow your path, your purpose. Know your self-worth, okay? But this person definitely loves what they see. Whoa, shit. Okay, it say, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yes, self-worth. Love what you see. Okay, listen to this shit. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. This person is going to take a step to towards you because they're going to make the effort. But spirit is saying, don't be too guarded and, you know, even give and take. Okay. Um, chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Hell yeah, there's a lot of passion in chemistry. This person has a lot of passion in chemistry. They want to they want to they want to burn your bed down. Okay. Engagement, your love life is ascended to a high level of commitment. Yes. Yes, didn't I say? Ten of Pentacles, they see this with you. Marriage long term. Okay. Mastery, you learn your spiritual lesson. Yes, this is a uh, um, with everything that the, the hermit is a spiritual journey, right? So, this connection that you're in is karmic, we, we call it karmic, but a divine counterpart is coming in. Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now, and you did that. Okay, you're defending yourself. 
rejection this rejection is actually divine protection okay so if you guys felt rejected at one point in your life don't feel that way it's divine protecting you protecting you okay it's not the right time all right balance one person is given too much in this relationship yes i felt that way with the six of pentacles um some of you all may was investing more in the relationship than the other person I love you. Hidden truth. I love you. I wish I had treated you better. I feel you leaving me behind. I wait. I will wait for a sign from you. See? Didn't I fucking tell you? Yes. But this person is getting the signs. But they, they waiting for something too. But they're going to they're gonna make their move because they're getting the signs. They're getting the signs. Lessons, again, lessons, spiritual lessons, knowledge, understanding, look for the lesson in, in, in this situation. Yes, this is a lesson, okay? Yes, fear, darkness, hesitation, insecurity, know that you are protected. You are definitely protected. Yes, so spirit is saying you got to get out of that and, and break free and follow your path. What the fuck did I say? Okay. Memories, nostalgia, repetition, attachment, reliving the past, let it go, Okay. Okay, and engagement, marriage. Didn't I tell you? Legal partnership, commitment, marital bond, and societal contract. So I see some of you all getting married. Yes, definitely. A divine counterpart is coming in. Let's look at some work parts. Get the word out about your business in a strategic way. Follow your path. Experiment with paid advertising to attract real buyers and build build your list. Okay. Automate. Develop ways to add passive income streams to your business so you don't have to work so hard. Earn some income while you sleep. All right. Show up. Consistency is queen in marketing your business online. Show up every day for your audience. Give value and make offers. Okay? And create. Be creative. The Empress came out twice. Be creative in your business. How can you break the rules and you're in the shade? How can you com create momentum? How can you zag when all others zig? Okay? So create. Be creative. You guys are very creative as well. different unique wait you see wait spirit is saying wait it's coming in but you need to decide what you want to do remain positive there's another thing that said remain positive okay remain positive positive thinking remain positive In the near future, okay? Yes. So, decide. Clear to decide. Have faith in your dreams. Go, Aries, waxing crescent moon. Have faith in your dreams. Okay, we're okay. Twenty six, eight, infinite abundance. Coins, coins. I said ten of pentacles, ten of pentacles, right? Just keep optimistic, keep positive, remain positive. Don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say in the self help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. 
Okay? If it's not okay, it's not the end. Remember that. Because your life is going to be just beginning after you get rid of this toxic shit situation that you're in and move on, move forward. Okay, well, this car, this is another thing, okay. When was the last time I danced freely? Dance, because it will shift you into a beautiful state, because it will give, it will get you out of your head and into your body and heart, because fear lives in the head, along with anxiety, control, guilt, frustration, and impatience. In just a few minutes of dancing, you will make the shift. You will feel a charge of joy and confidence take over, and you will feel a soul reminded to live and lead your heart from your heart. Dancing is a tool to ground us in the now. It triggers happiness, and it is the gateway to freedom. To become free, dance. Dance for three minutes to your favorite song. Notice the inward fire grow within the feeling you feel being you. Self-worth. You are wild, loving, you are you are a wild loving force. Express it with dance today. Dance. Okay? I love to dance. All right? This is my messages for you, Aries. I love you guys. I'm possible. You're possible. Thumbs up. Share. Like. Subscribe. I'm out.